Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adriana. If you guys are new, and if you guys are old, then welcome back, Bay Gang. Okay. So yes, you guys seen the last video or whatever video goes up first. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit because I shot these in the same day. Okay. We're getting this content done because y'all be on me. Y'all be on me. Where the video at? Where the video at? Where the video at? Where the video at? Yeah, it's here. The video is here, sis. Here. <laughs> breakdown or bbl cost breakdown i don't know what i'm going to title this video yet but i got it right here okay so let me scoot to the side because i'm gonna put the list right here you know what i'm saying we're gonna break it down baby okay so my bbl packet cost let me just put this disclaimer in your bbl cost is determined on your bmi they raise the price or lower the price depending on your BMI. Your BMI is your height and your weight together and you're going to get like this number. My BMI was 29.8 um, when I got my surgery done. So the price that they quoted me for my height and my BMI was $5,400. Of course you put the um, yeah of course you put the um what's that called your deposit down which was thirteen hundred dollars one thousand three hundred dollars um and that was for my that was for that was 700 went to my surgery 400 went to or no 300 went to um to the recovery home and then the rest went to the consultation fee yes dr plaza has a consultation fee <laughs> yeah um so my next expense was my recovery home i stayed well no i didn't stay but i paid for a total of 14 days so that came up to one thousand three hundred and thirty dollars i did not stay my last two days I left early because <laughs> I was ready to come home um another thing that is required is your hospital stay or hospital clinic stay whatever you want to call it after surgery that was $350 um my recovery supplies um the list of things that Dr. Plaza um, requires you to bring with you I ordered everything off of Amazon so it was a little more expensive than just getting it at the store but that came up to $300 um, getting them at the store will be a little cheaper than ordering them on Amazon but I was being lazy sis so whatever so my plane ticket to get there and back was $480 and $87 um, I did move my plane ticket up to come home early um and i did book that ticket months in advance so that price would be of course you know you know how flight now plane tickets work like the flight the prices fluctuate my stage two faha the one that was customized for me was a hundred dollars i had to get two covid tests in colombia one before surgery and um one to go home and they were forty dollars each so that was a total of eighty dollars for my two covid tests um i end up having two iron bags one before surgery and one after surgery and they those are a hundred dollars a piece so that was two hundred dollars 
I also did um, a vitamin IV bag to help my healing process while I was in the recovery home. And that was $80. Um, medication, okay, so this is a tricky one because all of your medication, you have some medication provided in your um, surgery packet, but your other medications are not provided and you have to buy them. So that was an additional $80. Um, for medication um, and then I also did the oxygen chambers which the oxygen chamber is supposed to help accelerate your um, healing and help with bruising and you know like different things or whatever um, I did four sessions well really I did three because my last one I couldn't do because I had to get on a plane um, so that was a waste of money but um, that was $140. Um, if you do five, it's $180 or $160. But they have packets of five, so there we go. Um, so my oxygen chambers were $140. I did buy a butt pillow. It's not really like a butt pillow, it's kind of like a boppy. Like, you know, the ones that you um, have the baby in. But that was $50. I bought that there at the recovery home. Um, my food and water like expenses like and when I say food they do provide food for you at the recovery home but um, the food was um, the food was nasty so some days I me and my sister we ordered out so um, that was about $60 about $60 um, and then tips I rounded it up to about $100 in tips um, so my grand total ended up coming out to be oh my tongue is well over from my mouth is my grand total ended up coming out to be $8,750 for my BBO which I mean isn't really bad because um in America you would have spent like 10 racks. Maybe more, 10, 15, 20, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Oh uh, well those are all of my expenses in Colombia. So my expenses here I paid for um massages, 10 massages. And that was $750. So hold on. Let me let me do some calculations. So $750. Hold on. Okay. So including my massages that I get, I spend total, I spent a total of $9,507 on my BBL so far. Um, I still haven't gotten like any alterations. I don't know if I'm going to get alterations because um, I'm probably just going to size down on my Faha or buy another Faha. Actually, I already have another Faha on the way from Snatch Bands. <laughs> That's my store, they need to sponsor me. If, hey, the owner of Snatch Band, if you see this video, please sponsor me. Because baby, I be supporting. Hold on, wait, y'all can't see. I be supporting. Do you see that? Snatch Bands. Snatch Bands. So, um, yeah, so when that Faha get here, I'm gonna do a video and a review on that Faha. Um, I actually already have a video guide planned for you guys about the difference between all of my Fajas and the pros or how they shape my body differently because Fajas can shape your body differently and you guys will see that in that video and you guys will see my favorite Faja. Um, what else? So yeah, that's the... That's how much I spent on this BBL, y'all. $9,000. $9,507 on this BBL. So far. Not even like, 
Yeah. Yeah. And then I have to, oh shoot, and then I have to add, that's gonna be another video. I'm gonna put how much I spent on Fajas in my Faja video. We'll get there, sis. But that's it, y'all. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned in this video. Um, if you guys made it to the end, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, welcome to my BBL journey. And I cannot wait to see you guys' BBL journey. Um, if you guys decide to get a BBL or if you guys decide to go to my doctor, put that in the comment section down below because I would love to hear it and I would love to communicate and share some tips and tricks with you guys um, to make your BBL process just a little easier because it's still kind of hard. But <laughs> we're going to go through this together. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much. I love you so, so, so much, like I said. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, bye, gang.